Hey everybody, my name is Mike Hills and I run Triton Insurance Group in Tampa, Florida. Today is September 22nd, Friday, September 22nd, and two Fridays ago, we were all preparing for the largest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic. Hurricane Irma was a monster. If you can remember two weeks ago, the stress in the air, the tension in the air, kind of a panic and anxiety. People were trying to get water. People were trying to buy hurricane panels. Tapcons were sold out. Most people never even heard of what a Tapcon was two weeks ago. Tapcons were sold out. Gas stations were sold out. You could cut the air. Hurricane Harvey just went through two weeks before and hit uh, Houston. So we had a momentous, horrible event that could have been a lot worse with Hurricane Irma. And the purpose of this video is I want to reach out to some of my customers who experienced firsthand what happened. In the emergency management field, they call it a critical incident debriefing. Immediately after, the group of people that were impacted, whether it's the rescuers, rescuees, and what they do is they analyze and they discuss what did they do right, what did they do wrong, what do they need to improve on. And there is nothing better than you, someone that is watching this, that was impacted by Hurricane Irma, Harvey, Maria, the madness that's been going on in Florida, where we've been like center stage and bullseye for all these hurricanes. I wanna hear your feedback, because this, we are in the middle of, believe it or not, the largest recovery, disaster recovery effort ever in our country. And it impacted a lot of lives. It impacted my life. So the goal is to get this information and share this information back so we can respond better as a community. A lot of people did not take it serious. A lot of people the day before the hurricane were mowing lawns in my community as if there was nothing big that could have happened. One wiggle in the direction of that hurricane could have turned your life upside down, like what's going on in the Keys right now. The Keys is gonna take forever, to it's gonna take six months to fully recover, maybe years to fully recover. The scuba reefs in the Keys will probably never be the same. It's still too new, two weeks after, we still don't know the condition of the, of, uh, of the coral reefs and the dive spots. We know Sloppy Joe's is serving beers, cold beer, but uh, we don't know the condition of the reefs. And we just dodged a bullet with with, uh, with Hurricane uh, Maria. It basically bounced off of uh, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republics and cut straight north. And uh, that just happened a couple days ago. But some of the hurricane models did have, especially the Canadian hurricane models, had Hurricane Maria going north and then zigzagging right through Miami again and uh, up the coast. If you looked at some of the models a couple days ago. So we're not fully out of out of harm's way. We still will probably get some more rain with that. But uh, what our intention is, is to bring you a series of educational uh, uh, videos by bringing on some guest speakers. Uh, uh, we wanna bring in, I wanna bring on uh, uh, emergency management people, people from CERT, Community Emergency Response Team, which helped train me. I'm a member of uh, East Lake CERT. We're gonna bring on some guys from uh, CERT and they're gonna talk about how to properly evacuate. Instead of just jumping in your car and going, evacuation can be very dangerous. We wanna talk about how exactly to evacuate, some of the precautions. We wanna talk about how to shelter in place. We wanna talk about um, how to mitigate your home from water damage by bringing on a, a, a plumber. We wanna talk about what you need to look for on your roof to make your roof more hurricane impact. We want to talk about how to file an insurance claim, how to file follow up with an insurance claim, and so what you're prepared. So when you do have to file an insurance claim, today is the 22nd. Insurance adjusters are calling people today impacted by Irma to schedule appointments for October 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So if you're sitting with a tree on the top of your house right now, your fridge is, sh the, the electrical sh fr uh, wiped out your refrigerator and you have no power still in your house, 
you need to grab the bull by the horns, fix your house, document everything, record everything, any expense that you have. You need to get your house fully back up in order. So we're gonna bring you a series of videos, short, sweet, to the point. No fluff. I hate the fluff of long videos. Right to the point about what you need to know and what you need to do. How to protect yourself after, uh, after a hurricane. How to protect your family. Like three days after there's no power. Five days after no power. What goes on with people running out of dr uh, uh, drugs, uh, uh, medicine? I'm not talking about like uh, uh, the illegal drugs, the meth heads that had no drugs available for four or five days from a power outage and what risk and threat that that poses to you and your family. But I'm talking about people who need heart medicine and they can't get it. There's a whole wave of things that happen after a, after a disaster that, that, that I want my people to be very well aware of. So um, we're gonna bring a whole series of things and um, oh, the other thing that I wanna talk about also that we're getting a wave of stuff is what's really going on with auto insurance. Stuff you need to know that's gonna impact you on your auto policy. Listen to this, $5 billion in auto claims just happened in Houston. Five billion in Houston alone. Florida hasn't been added, added up yet. How do you think that's gonna affect your auto premiums in six months or a year? I'm gonna show you what's gonna, what's gonna happen with, with, with that to the best of my abilities. So, and what we're gonna do is show you some of the things like we have go bags. I'm gonna show you how to communicate. Did you lose power? And you have an iPhone and you lost signal and you're just sitting in your house with no communications? I'm gonna show you What you need to know about radios and communication so you will at all times be able to know minute by minute, hour by hour situation reports so you are never out of the loop with communication about what's going on. Um, in return, what we're going to be doing, and this is exactly the generator here, one of the generators that I used at my house, and this runs all night. Fill it up, hook it up to your freezer, hook it up to your fan, a small air conditioning unit, and it runs all night, eight hours, with no refueling. People are laughing going, oh, it's a small generator, but it doesn't suck gas. The people with the big generators were running out of gas. So this generator will run all night. Keep your family safe, keep some comfort at home. We are gonna be giving away these generators as a way of thanking you for the information that you share with us. Mike Hills, Triton Insurance Group, Tampa, much more to come, much more to come. Stay safe and have a great day.